The very nature of crime shows themselves means that the subject matter is sometimes rather hard to stomach. Viewers are presented with robberies, assaults, home invasions, murder, and abuse. Figuring out who did the deed can be fun and interesting, but the actual crimes themselves are not fun at all. Every now and then, a show does not quite get the balance right between entertaining and just plain difficult to watch. Today, we're going to take a look at the times that Law & Order went too far for its fans. First up, Intimidation Game. Intimidation Game came in season 16, so the show had been going on long enough for the writers to tell what's too much for fans and which isn't. The episode, like many of the show's subjects, is based on real-life events. Back in 2014, misogyny and sexism was uncovered in the video game creation world, and female game developers became targets for death threats, online abuse, stalking, and other hate crimes. In this episode, a female game developer named Reina Punjabi is victimized and has her female employers harassed by online criminals who don't like the idea of women working in the video game industry. They go any further and carry out a plot to kidnap Reina and assault her. The rampant misogyny in real life in this industry is too real for some fans who find that seeing it makes them uncomfortable. Next, Surrender Benson. Olivia Benson is without a doubt the star of Law & Order Special Victims Unit. To see her in such a horrific state was a bit too much for some viewers. For the first episode, episode of season 15, Olivia Benson was kidnapped by the previous season's bad guy, serial killer William Lewis. The very first shot of the episode we see is everybody's favorite detective tied to a chair, bruised and covered in blood. It shocked audiences everywhere and the episode just got more brutal from there. William Lewis had already brutally murdered multiple innocent people by this point, so it would have been easy for him to kill Benson too, and everyone knew it. Was the main star about to die horribly? Lewis seems to be one step ahead of the detectives as he moves her from location to location. She gains the upper hand in the end and is rescued by her beloved colleagues, but the episode is definitely considered hard to watch by fans. Having William Lewis caught and jailed at the end of the episode was definitely the ending that all the fans were hoping for. Up next, for a few leak more. This episode comes from the Organized Crime spin-off show. Obviously, in dealing with organized crime, there are a lot of dodgy dealings going on and hardened criminals everywhere you look. But we aren't used to seeing the good guys doing the crimes. This is where the organized crime series really holds its own and carves a niche for itself. Undercover officer detective Elliot Stabler is deep in his work, getting the criminals he's dealing with every day to recognize him as one of their own and trusting him fully and completely. We follow him as he works, bearing witness to all the things he has to do to keep his cover. In this particular episode alone, he commits multiple crimes. Some of them can be a little hard to watch watch, especially knowing that he's supposed to be one of the good guys. To start off the episode, Stabler mercilessly beats a man into unconsciousness at a poker game. Stabler wants to tell himself that he's doing this work and committing these acts to get deeper undercover and to make up for allowing his wife to die, but really, it's obvious that he's actually enjoying them. He goes one step further and accompanies a crime boss's wife back to her house. Whilst there, he actually drugs her drink. Yes, you heard us, he crushes sleeping pills into her drink and drugs her. It's pretty abhorrent, and he takes that opportunity to rifle through her house, looking for evidence of her husband's crimes. Later on in the episode, because he's not done yet, he actually shoots a man at a public place during a bar robbery that he's a part of. The man is just an innocent bar patron and is shot whilst trying to stop the gang from leaving. His colleagues at the precinct are pretty disturbed to find out that Stabler was the one who actually pulled the trigger. Episode finishes on another controversial note. Elliot Stabler ends up being visited in the night by by Flutura Brisco, the woman who he drugged earlier. It gets more complicated as she comes into his trailer, and the two end up sleeping together. Stabler insists that this is all in the name of being undercover, but fans could feel him unraveling as they watched more. It was definitely a difficult episode to watch, as this supposed to be good guy ended up committing so many criminal acts all in the space of under an hour. Next up, Legitimate Rape. This episode is just a whole dumpster fire of uncomfortable watching. The title alone tells the audience what they can expect, and for anyone who doesn't like sitting through sexual assault themed episodes, it's going to be a hard watch. This particular episode of Special Victims Unit centers around a woman named Avery Jordan. She is a sports reporter for a local news channel and as such is a bit of a local celebrity. She approaches Benson and the Special Victims Unit and accuses her co-worker and cameraman of sexual assault. As the episode draws on, we find that Jordan is not 
only been raped inside her own home, but that her colleague and attacker, Richard Purcell, is actually stalking her too. Things get even more dangerous for Jordan, who then discovers that she's pregnant from the attack. The accusation goes forward until a trial happens where Purcell decides to represent himself. In real life, sexual assault survivors often don't report attacks because of the additional trauma of having to face her attackers in court. Jordan had to feel this doubly because she was being questioned and ridiculed on the stand by the very man who forced himself on her. Some viewers definitely felt that the way that Avery Jordan was repeatedly traumatized by this man was taking it too far. Some people definitely might have skipped a few parts. Up next, Invaders. We're going to go back to the original Law & Order series here at the 16th season, in fact. This episode first aired way back in 2006, and it was considered so controversial that fans are still talking about it to this day. The assistant district attorney, Alexandra Borgia, is kidnapped. The fact that someone in such a strong position of political power in the community is shocking, as if these people aren't safe, then who is? A slew of deaths are rocking the community, and all the murders are linked to the culprit impersonating police officers. This is disturbing not only because it is a horrific idea, but because it happens in real life all too often. Plenty of real-life serial killers have posed as people in positions of authority so they can be trusted by their victims. It's terrifying. The shock really comes halfway through the episode, though. Borgia's corpse is discovered, and she did not have an easy death. She's found beaten, tied up in the trunk of a car. And many of the people in law enforcement that she has met and worked with before have to investigate her death. We learn from the autopsy that she suffocated by choking on her own vomit as she lay gagged in the back of the car. It's awful, and as if knowing her fate is not bad enough, her poor broken body is shown on screen multiple times. Having someone so prominent in the show suffering such a violent death and having it displayed on the screen for shock value has stayed with the Law & Order fandom for years since. Lastly, Monogamy. This episode airs in the third season of Special Victims Unit. This episode is seen as being way, way too far, and even longtime fans of the show find it hard to deal with. The show opens with brutality right from the beginning, as a woman's body is found in a parking garage with massive injuries to her abdomen. It's revealed that somebody has performed a barbaric version of a C-section on her, taking an unborn baby from her body. The episode takes a turn for the worse, as the baby's dead body is found nearby, having been suffocated to death. Special Victims Unit discovers that the woman's husband is a psychiatrist, and he becomes an immediate suspect. The woman had been having an affair, and her jealous husband believed that the baby she was carrying belonged to another man. In a fit of jealous cruelty, he carved open his wife's body to extract the baby and then murder it. DNA test reveals that he was, in fact, the father all along, and he butchered his wife, killed his own child. This is without a doubt the episode that all Law & Order fans think of when they remember the episodes that went too far. But what did you guys think? Did your most controversial episode of Law & Order make it onto this list? Take care, and see you next time.